see. What's up, beautiful people on YouTube? That's you. All right, we are going to repark real quick because the bus I just parked behind decided to bail. Okay, make sure your blinker is on. People here in California don't use blinkers, and it's really weird. And I notice that I do that too sometimes now. It's like I'm, uh, I'm learning, I'm adapting, I'm becoming one of them. And that's not very safe, my friends. Use your blinkers. So, Ooh, today, today is a good day. It is now Thursday, April 3rd. Can we guess? Maybe? And I know how to do this now. I know how to do the YouTube thing. I am the kind of person that needs a little bit of back inventory. Uh, in the sense of, of YouTube, what that means is I need to have some videos filmed and then I post them regularly. But uh, I heard the most wonderful comparison today. Um, it's like a bakery, right? You can't have too many loaves of bread in the back or they'll go bad, right? The videos that I make, they can't be too old before I post them or they'll be irrelevant or I'll have something I want to add to it or whatever, right? And that that is the hardest part, I think, of YouTube videos is not feeling like they're complete before you upload them. You, you watch your, your video before you upload it. You, know, you make sure there's no crazy language in it or um, that you actually believe in what you're saying or if it's satire that people get that, um, that it's readily apparent. You know, it's, you're, you're testing to see if it's a video that is genuine from you. And as you do that, sometimes you think, oh, what if I what if I smiled more? What if I said this instead? I could refilm the whole thing, just don't forget this one sentence. Maybe I'll refilm a sentence now and like chop it in or something. And that's that's no good. <laughs> I realized something else this week. Um watching YouTube for the last decade, right? You, you see how editing styles change. And a lot of times when people are speaking to a camera, they will have ranted, say, like this. And they'll later in post edit it so that the sentences are closer together. There's less gaps in the speaking. There's less pauses and breathing. Everything flows really well. It makes for a really good presentation. There won't be pauses like I just had. And as you watch that, say in my case for the last decade, and anyone else in my generation, I'm not saying I'm special, I'm saying that we've grown around YouTube, we've grown up around it, in, in my case in my 20s. Um, it makes you think that conversations go a certain way. It makes you think that to have a conversation and be good at it, you have to know exactly what you're going to say, in what order, have it all planned out or known backwards and forwards and in and out and upside down so that no matter what you're saying, it makes sense and it can, it can react to any kind of retort from who you're talking to, whether, whether they're saying, Hey, good job, or it turns into an argument or they want to ask questions. You basically have to have a PhD in what you're talking about because the people that you watch on YouTube have their entire thesis sorted out in that specific video. Does that make sense? Watch a video, see how it's edited together. And no matter what the topic of conversation, it's all very well organized. There's very few conversations when, when you're looking up a specific topic. And that's not necessarily true in say the podcast community, right? Um, and I, I think there's definitely, uh, I don't like saying this, like a market for, there's, a, there's definitely a demand for authentic conversation. That's why podcasts exist. That's why interviews exist. People want to sit and absorb all of the content, all of a conversation that people are having. And I think now in this age, that's going to get even stronger. In the 21st century, we're going to lose touch with human contact. We're, 
we're interacting so little in a city situation now. Imagine as technology becomes even more interactive, as you get augmented reality, as you have VR advance even more, your, your human contact is going to go down. And so the very act of having a conversation might be more rare. In, in such a way that videos like this, where I'm just ranting at a camera, you call it vlogging. You call it uh, a, a rant. You, you say it's unfiltered and unedited and sloppy. Sloppy in some ways. And that's so strange because if you were sitting right here next to me, this would be a conversation we're having. You would have had, you would have had replied multiple times by now. We, the conversation might not be where it is right now as I talk to a camera. Does that make sense? It's, it's this kind of free form talking I really like. I'm going to roll down a window because it is hot in here. Um, that's why I want to get into podcasting because I do best with a conversation. I do best with another person. I, I can write down a script, make a YouTube video. That's very useful for me. Like I'm going to touch this topic, go over to this thing over here, connect it to that. There's the video. Have a great life. But if you turn on a camera, like I just did as I'm about to park, um, I was safe. Okay. There were no cars around me. I only hit like three children, but, uh, if you just turn on a camera and you, you ask me, Hey Luke, make a video right now. <gasps> no, <laughs> I don't want to, I, I don't want to put out some kind of content that has almost no point, but that can be really cathartic. Think of the movie, the Martian, when he has to talk into a log regularly and like log his day that can be very useful it's like a journal but you need to have some kind of content that's relatable to people or interesting like an adventure to make a journal entry worth listening to <laughs> so it, it's a uh, you don't just want to get in front of a camera and be like this is my seat chair <laughs> a seat chair it's like a chair and a seat combined it's one big thing it's great and then as i say that you know what i think of i think of um our beloved savior review bra and <laughs> bra bro you know what i'm saying review bra <laughs> he is hilarious i i highly enjoy his videos and i can't tell you why it's someone no offense, by the way, your content's great. Um, it's someone eating food telling you how it is. In in one of his early videos, he's talking about shoes. <laughs> like, that's awesome. I I can't tell if he's trolling or if he is it's just does that interest him? Does he know that people enjoy watching that? So he makes that content and you, you get fun out of that. I'm having fun right now with very little thesis to this video. I, I'm very fascinated by this. this, this whole topic of like, not only what to put in a YouTube video, but how to format it. And this new phone, by the way, is so zoomed in. Look at this. I am a good foot from the phone right now. And it's, it's got all kinds of detail. I don't know. I'm, I miss putting up videos every day. Definitely going to get on that a little more. Um, things have been kind of crazy. I, another thing I've noticed is you've got to, you've got to have this authenticity, this kind of, uh, really authentic content that goes out. The 30 day challenge really showed me how to be more comfortable on camera. Okay. Okay useful but then afterwards many conversations taught me that I, I need to put on youtube the conversations that i'm having with other people i call my brother we have a really good talk man the, the, like the stuff we talked about was was impactful is helpful that people could find value in that and it's gone forever <laughs> okay do i need to record every phone call no no but my 
the best topics are those that are relevant to people's lives. And so your best YouTube content is going to be what's relevant to your life. And other people will find that interesting. Other Because they'll relate to it as well. Just like those journal entries we're talking about. And that's so hard. That's hard. I don't like listening to my music loudly. Because then other people hear what I'm listening to. It doesn't really have a lot of logical base to it. I just... It's just weird. I think people that listen to music without headphones are rude. <laughs> like, what are you doing? No one else wants to hear your crappy music. Will you please put on headphones or something? <laughs> I like it quiet. <laughs> but then, I like really loud music. And... and not as loud as other people. I have really sensitive ears. I don't know. Just a weird thing. I don't I don't want to share what I'm watching or listening to. It doesn't doesn't interest me to share that with people. So in the very near future, we're gonna have some more freeform conversation coming your way. Stuff including my fiance, my brother, probably some interviews. I have been talking to different clients that uh, they have very interesting lives. It's, it's kind of, it's interesting. Strangers open up to you when you provide them services. <laughs> they just, they just talk and their life stories, what they shared. It's like other people should hear this. This is good stuff. This is uh you had to jump how many flaming fences to make it to here? That's a that's amazing. Your hands only have minor scarring. Okay. Let's talk. I don't know where I'm going with that. I just felt kind of like rambling. I hope your day is going well. I'll put out some good videos as well as this one. And uh, let's see where this goes. Thank you for watching. Make a YouTube channel. All right, bye. And if I'm